in this video we shall discuss how to calculate house rent allowance so let's move on to the video. for the purpose of calculating house rent allowance we have to categorize the employees into two different types that is for calculating the hra allowance we are classifying employee into two different types one is employee residing in his own house if the employee is residing in in his own house he will not pay hra so he will come under the first category the second category of employee is an employee paying rent the employee is staying in a rented accommodation and he is paying rent so this is the second situation now let's take the first situation how to calculate taxable hra when the employee is staying in his own house the entire amount of hra is taxable if the employee is staying in his own house and he is not paying rent then the entire amount that he is receiving as hra is taxable now let us take the second situation in the second situation before calculating the taxable amount first we have to calculate the exempted amount how to calculate the exempted amount for this we have to compare three values the first value is excess of rent paid over 10 percentage of salary the second value is 40 percentage of salary in certain cases instead of 40 we will take 50 percentage in certain cases usually we will take only 40 percentage but if the house is in delhi mumbai kolkata or chennai if the employee is staying in a house which is situated in delhi mumbai kolkata or chennai then we will take 50 percentage instead of 40 we will take 50 percentage the third value is actual amount of hra received so we will calculate these three values and out of these three values whichever is less the least value will be exempted okay the least value will be exempted after calculating the least value we will calculate the taxable hra after calculating the least value how to calculate taxable hra actual hra received actually what amount of hra is received by the employee minus exempted amount exempted is nothing but the least of these three values so this exempted amount minus actual hra received we will get the taxable hra so i hope you understood the conditions we have we are using the word 10 percentage of salary 40 percentage of salary so what is the meaning of salary salary means basic pay plus dearness allowance if it enters into employment then commission based on fixed percentage on turnover so for the purpose of calculating salary we have to add basic pay dearness allowance and commission okay so now we can move we shall move into the problems this is the first question that I have taken. From the following information, compute taxable HRA. Basic pay is given, HRA received is given, rent paid is given. And three different situations, under three different situations, we have to calculate the taxable HRA. So look into the question. In the question, there is no information that he is living in his own house. See, rent paid is given. In the question, rent paid is given that means the employee is staying in a rented accommodation so we have to calculate the exempted amount how to calculate the exempted amount we have to compare three values the first value is excess of rent paid over 10 percentage of salary how to calculate this for calculating this write rent paid in the particulars column rent paid okay how much is rent paid under situation 1? It is 1500. So, write 1500 in the amount column. In the second case, it is 1920. And in the third case, it is 750. So, this is the actual rent that is paid. From this, we have to deduct 10% of salary. 10% of salary in this problem we have only basic pay. We don't have dearness elements. We don't have commission. So on this basic pay you calculate 10%. 18,000 into 10% will give you 1,800. 
ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड इंटू टेन परसेंटेज विल गिव यू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सिक्स थाउजेंड इंटू टेन परसेंटेज विल गिव यू सिक्स हंड्रेड सो नाउ डिडक्ट दि आंसर फ्रॉम वॉट वी आर सपोज टू कैलकुलेट यर वी आर सपोज टू कैलकुलेट एक्सेस ऑफ रेंट पेड हाउ मच इज दि एक्सेस ऑफ रेंट दट इज बींग पेड हियर द रेंट इज नॉट एन एक्सेस द टेन परसेंटेज ऑफ सैलरी इज मोर देन द रेंट सो इन दिस केस दिस आंसर विल बी नल If you don't understand this concept, you remember one simple thing. I'll tell, I'll teach you in a very simple way. From rent paid, deduct thousand ten percentage of salary. If your answer is negative, see from thousand five hundred, if you deduct thousand eight hundred, you will get minus three hundred. If your answer is negative, write nil. Don't write the negative answer. Instead, you have to write nil. Now look here. Thousand nine twenty minus thousand two hundred. You will get plus seven twenty. Your answer is positive, so we are writing the answer. In this case again, seven fifty minus six hundred. The answer is plus one fifty, so we are writing it. So if your answer is negative, write nil. If your answer is positive, write the amount. This is the first value that we have calculated. The second value is we have to take either forty percentage or fifty percentage of salary look into the question when will we take 50 percentage if the house is situated in delhi mumbai kolkata or chennai we will take 50 percentage in the question the place where the house is situated is not given so we are going to assume that it is situated in other places and we are going to take 40 percentage of salary okay Now we have to calculate eighteen thousand into forty percentage. We will get seven thousand two hundred. Then twelve thousand into forty percentage, we will get four thousand eight hundred. Six thousand into forty percentage, we will get two thousand four hundred. This is the second value. Now you have to write the actual HRA. How much is the actual HRA that is given in the question? In the first case, it is two thousand hundred. The second case, it is six hundred, and in the third case, it is thousand fifty. So this is the third value. We have calculated all the three values. Now, out of the three values, out of these three values, you have to take the least value. See, nil means zero, so this will be the least value. So in the first situation, the least value is nil. In the second situation, seven twenty four thousand eight hundred six hundred. So the least value will be six hundred. In the third case, one fifty two thousand four hundred thousand fifty. So the least value will be one fifty. So we have taken the least of the three values. This value is exempted HRA. This amount of HRA is exempted. Okay. After calculating H exempted HRA, what are we supposed to calculate? We have to calculate taxable HRA. How to calculate taxable HRA? I have already told you. Taxable HRA will be tax HRA received minus exempted HRA. So we will calculate for the first situation. In the first situation, how much is the HRA received? Look into the question. It is two thousand hundred. So two thousand hundred is the HRA received. Exempted amount is nil. Nil means zero. So the total two thousand hundred is taxable. In the second case, HRA received is six hundred. Exempted HRA is also six hundred. So taxable HRA is nil. There is no taxable HRA. In the third case. HRA received is thousand fifty, exempted amount is one fifty, so taxable amount is equal to nine hundred. So I hope you understood how to calculate a uh, HRA. We shall look into one more problem. This is the second question that I have taken. A is employed at Vellore on a salary of rupees three thousand per month. The employer is paying HRA of rupees three fifty per month. But actual rent paid by Mr. A is five hundred per month. Compute taxable HRA. Okay. For calculating taxable HRA, what should we do? 
we have to compare three values. So we will start comparing the first value. I have already told you for calculating the first value, we have to deduct rent paid from 10 percentage of salary. So write rent paid. Look into the question. Actual rent paid by A is rupees 500 per month. So it is given in per month. So we are converting into per annum 500 into 12. We will get 6000 rupees. Okay. From this what should we deduct? We should deduct 10 percentage of salary. Look into the question here. In this question again we have only salary. We don't have earners allowance. We don't have commission. So 3000 into 12. We are calculating per annum salary and then we are calculating 10 percentage on it. We will get 3600. So 6000 minus 3600 we will get 2400. So this is the first value. Now let us calculate the second value. In the second value we have to calculate either 40 percentage or 50 percentage. Look into the question. In the question it is given, it is clearly given that he is, A is employed at Vellur. So if he is employed at Vellur, we have to take only 40 percentage. If his house is situated in Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, we will take 50. Here it is given as Vellur, so we will take 40 percentage of salary. How much is salary? 3000 is per month salary into 12 into 40 percentage. We will get 14400. This is the second value that we have calculated. Third value is actual HRA received. Actual HRA. How much is the actual HRA is paying HRA of rupees 350 per month. So 350 into 12 we will get 4200. This is the third value. Okay. After calculating the three values what should we do? We should take the least of the three. Look into, look into this 2400, 14000, 4200. Which is the least value? 2400. So that is the exempted HRA. So exempted HRA is equal to 2400. Now we shall calculate the taxable HRA. How to calculate taxable HRA? Actual HRA received. How much is the actual HRA received? 350 per month. 350 into 12 we will get 4200. 4200 is the actual HRA received minus exempted HRA. How much is exempted? 2400 is exempted. Therefore, taxable HRA is 1800. So, I hope you would have understood how to calculate house rent allowance. Thank you for watching.